Hello, everyone. This is Roman Kashikar, engineering librarian at the Rochester Institute of Technology. And I'm going to demonstrate to you Research Rabbit. This is an interesting new AI based tool, uh, one of uh, the tools and databases that we are covering in this speed dating ses session. How do you access Research Rabbit? Well, it is entirely web based. You can go to researchrabbit.ai uh, to view their uh, mission reviews and donate to the project. Uh, and then sign up and log in goes through a different website, which is researchrabbitapp.com. This is the Research Rabbit interface. Uh, is there a fee to use Research Rabbit? No, there is not. And at this time, Research Rabbit is committed to its nonprofit and open status. All you need to do to use Research Rabbit is sign up with your email address and a unique password of your choosing. What would you use this tool for? Well, Research Rabbit is used primarily to uh, add papers and explore connections between them. Let's now demonstrate how Research Rabbit works. Primarily, what you want to do is add papers to explore by copying in a title or a DOI. And I'm going to paste in a DOI for a paper with a co author from RIT. And then you can explore similar work. You can drill into the references and citations and look at the authors and co authors and who they're connected to. You can create collections also. So I'll name this collection ASCE 2023. Okay. I can add additional papers as well to the same collection. Let me Copy another URL, or DOI in this case. And again, I can now look at this paper, and you'll see that there may be a few uh, uh, fewer uh, ways to explore this. So in this case, references and citations are not really available but I can still explore similar work and explore these authors and the uh, people that they're connected to. There are many more features in Research Rabbit than I have time to demonstrate today. For the purposes of this presentation, we're going to answer uh, questions about what the tool would be used for. First, can you use this for discovery? Can you use ResearchRabbit to find information or references for a research topic or to review foundational information on a topic? I would say that maybe it would be useful for finding references, though it really does kind of want you to start with a, a starting point, such as a title or DOI. You can search by keyword as well. Uh, I would say that it is not useful for reviewing foundational information, and it's designed to facilitate more advanced citation research, as we'll see later. Next, is Research Rabbit uh, something that could pull in a lot of misinformation or disinformation? Uh, and I would say that that is probably out of scope for this tool unless retracted papers are being inadvertently linked. So I think we're good as far as misinformation and disinformation goes. Can you use ResearchRabbit to perform forward or backward citation research? Yes, absolutely. To use this first example, you can look into all of the references and all citations to the selected paper. And it gives you this handy visualization where you can see who these other papers are, click on them, and then even add that particular paper to your collection if you wish to. 
So there is a lot of useful uh, features for exploring connections between papers. And you use ResearchRabbit to uh, find collaborators and who else is doing research in a particular area. Absolutely. You can look at the authors and uh, look at their published work or find their collaborators. So Research Rabbit, in the case of at least this particular faculty member at RIT, um, is extremely helpful for finding collaborators and mapping out who those people are and finding where they work, what their publication totals are, and how many total citations their publications have received. This is a really useful feature of the Research Rabbit system. Can you use Research Rabbit to determine places to publish? Uh, I would say possibly. Um, I have not yet found an effective way to sift or sort by publication, but I would say that this is probably a secondary use compared to citation and collaboration research, which is really what Research Rabbit is going to be best at. What are some of the other interesting features of Research Rabbit? I believe that Research Rabbit could serve as an open alternative to functionality found in expensive systems like, uh, like Scopus and Web of Science. It would have limited only by its open availability of metadata that's being fed into the Research Rabbit system. It's probably better at citation analysis than a tool like Google Scholar because you can find connections more easily and filter out the less relevant stuff more readily. The visualizations make that very uh, straightforward and give you a really interesting look at the citation data. Other interesting features are uh, importing Zotero collections or syncing your Research Rabbit collections to your Zotero profile. Very, very helpful for Zotero users. If you are not a Zotero user, however, you can uh, upload or export to uh, BibTeX or RIS and use those exported or uploaded files with other citation management systems. So that is, in brief, the functionality of ResearchRabbit, what makes it an interesting tool, and what it's best used for. Thank you.